Hey there guys, obviously today's project is going to be building a DIY tailgate ladder for the back of my truck. Not necessarily something I plan on using on a daily basis, but for those times where I am loading up for a camping trip and I'm getting in and out of the truck many times, I think it'll be nice and useful. And I'm sure some of you are going to refer to this as an old man project, and perhaps it is, but I can assure you I can still climb in and out of that truck without the use of a ladder, at least for a few more months until these old bones decide to give out. And when they do, you can have the pleasure of watching me weld up a walker or a wheelchair to continue living the life I like to live. So anyway, I'm gonna do the build. I'll talk about uh, the costs, if it's even worth it to do something like this. And if you stay to the end, I'll tell you about a giveaway that I'm doing in partnership with Forney Industries. They are the company that makes the welder and a lot of the other metalworking equipment that I use. Uh, so anyway, let's get to it. So right now I'm pretty close to having all the cuts done and I've got everything laid out how it is going to be leaning off the side of the tailgate. Down here are the bottoms of the legs and I had cut those at 22 and a half degrees. And then I've got my first, second, and third step. And then what I need to do now is figure out the cuts to make this come at an angle like this and then up right here. This is just a spacer so that I knew where these need to go. And then these two pieces will be connected to the hinge point so that this can be folded up into the bed. But I may need to adjust these steps down a little bit lower depending on where this needs to come uh, back over there so I can still have room to get my foot. But anyway, <laughs> after that I'll put it on the welding table and get it all tacked into place. So I've got everything clamped down and ready to tack into place and I'll be honest this was probably the most difficult part of this whole project so far and that is because each of these steps I tried to put that same 22 and a half degree angle that I have on the bottom of the legs so they can be relatively flat when I step up into the tailgate and I squared it basically every way I could. So right now I'm gonna get the spool gun and I'm gonna tack these and I'm starting on this side because this is gonna be the bottom side. So if some of my settings are off, it shouldn't matter. I can get them dialed in before I do the top side. Little scrap piece of wood to make sure this upper portion is parallel. And a real quick segue before I get to the finer details of this ladder project. I wanted to show you guys my new welder from Forney. This is the 220MP, which stands for multi-process. And it is the updated version 
of my previous welder, which was the 190 MP that you've seen on quite a few projects. Anyway, this is going to be the new main welder, and I will probably still keep that one, but I might just dedicate it to like stick welding or something like that. That way I don't have to switch uh, everything around. Uh, but anyway, I am just taking the spool gun off of it, and uh, it's a pretty awesome welder. It's got all the same features as the previous one. Uh, one of my favorite things is this little guide on the inside of the lid. Kind of gives you all the different scenarios you might use in this and the general st uh, settings of which to start on. But that is pretty much it. And let's get back to the project. Well, the next part of this puzzle is the hinge point where this ladder is going to fold up onto the tailgate of the truck. And for this, I just got a scrap piece of 8 inch thick aluminum plate and some of the cutoffs from this tubing that I used to make the ladder. And I just welded them on this plate exactly aligned with the ladder. And what I need to do now is make some uh, little pivoting brackets where this will fold up into the truck and then I'll have to make something else to hold the ladder. And that's pretty much going to be it. So right now I'm trying to secure this plate to the tailgate and I pre-drilled all my holes and I've got some stainless steel machine screws with some stainless steel washers. That way this aluminum doesn't uh, interact with uh, the steel of the truck bed. And to get access with my little lock nuts, I simply taped a wrench on this little piece of scrap tubing and I insert it there and line it up just like that. So I showed you earlier with the bracket that I was going to use some removable hitch pins, but there ended up being too much play in them and I'll probably end up using them for the locking portion on the other side. So I have instead switched to these little adjustable hitch pins and I think they are going to end up working a lot better. That way I can get a tighter fit right around this piece of aluminum in the bracket. So I've decided to add some straps to hold the ladder into the tailgate uh, so that they can kind of lay down if I ever need to slide anything in and out. And I got this one on, I'm just using some standard hardware, but this one is in such a tight little spot. I've got my little hands helper to put the nut in there right now. Oh, right now, okay. Uh-oh, oh, we almost slipped right. down the hand. Yeah, see if you can feel it. And if you can hold it against it, I'll just spin it. I just gotta. Uh oh. <laughs> That's all right. I think it's just. All right, hold your hand. You think it's on there? Yeah. 
All right, let's see. Yeah, it's on there. Now we just need to get a wrench in there. So I think that is pretty much going to conclude the build portion of this video. As always, I hope you found it entertaining and perhaps it gave you some ideas. If nothing more than to simply decide to buy a pre-made ladder than to build one because it did take some effort. And on that note, I'm sure some of you are going to ask um, if it is simply worth it to build a ladder like this uh, versus just buying one off the internet. Well, I can say the materials of the aluminum tubing cost me about 30 bucks. The uh, hardware and all the kind of things like that cost me about $25. And the grip tape, I think, was about 10 or 15 bucks. So when it comes out to cost, the actual uh, cost that I spent for all the materials, um, it's about the same as like, you know, maybe some of the entry level ladders. So you can clearly just buy one and save yourself a couple of days of working on a project. But if you're like me, I simply enjoy building stuff. I enjoy the process of problem solving and figuring the angles and different things like that. Um, clearly, this one is not 100% my design. I basically mimicked a lot of the designs that I've seen online uh, with the little uh, notched out section to account for the tailgate uh, support wire or support cable. But anyway, it's really just a matter of me enjoying building stuff. Uh, as well as continuing to further my skills because, you know, <laughs> let's be frank, I don't know what uh, the future has in store and I would rather know more in my mind today <laughs> for who knows what is to come in the future. As for the giveaway, if you guys are interested, I think this is going to be done on mine and Forney Industries Instagram page. Uh, but I will put all of the details either down below on the screen or in the description. But it's going to be for an awesome welding helmet, welding gloves, uh, sanding uh, wheels, uh, like the flap disc wheels that you see me uh, do a lot of the blending on my metal projects. Um, some scraper rushes and uh, frankly just a just a nice huge giveaway package uh, so anyway just check that out down below and uh, as always I appreciate you guys watching give it a thumbs up if you liked this and uh, good luck on the giveaway